What's up everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can take my brand new Airtable template to create endless amounts of AI generated images using the new Nano Banana model from Google. This image generation model just came out this week and it is blowing up the internet. This model is able to take reference images and create perfect versions of them with changing only what you want to change. The examples I'm seeing online are insane. This Airtable template will allow you to create not just one image at a time, but hundreds using the API and will be a next level tool for any marketer looking to level up their advertising game. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your API key and plug it into the tool and how to set it up to get working in under 20 minutes. I've also included a link to my school community that I just launched last month in the description below. If you like my content, consider joining that community where you'll get continuous updates on tools like this and access to over 270 media buyers, founders, agency owners and AI enthusiasts, as well as direct access to me. Let's get to it. First thing, just a little bit of background on how this thing works. So we've got this nano banana image generator table. This is where all the magic happens. Uh, we'll go over this in just a second. A prompt library. This is where you can kind of like store prompts that you've had good outputs with in the past. Like maybe you already have a prompt library or maybe you know, you like to uh, experiment with some new prompts in Gemini or even in this tool, you can like throw them into this prompt library and save them um, so that you can easily look them up um, and select them. So here, you know, I can click this combine images prompt. And this pulls up a prompt to combine, you know, very, very simple, but, um, you know, combine the image on the left, the image on the right. Um, obviously, your prompt library probably will have more advanced prompts in here. Um, at some point, I'll add a bunch of prompts in here as well, but this is just kind of the MVP of the, the tool right now. Um, the most important part here is we have this API keys table. Here, um, there's really only two API keys that you need to, in order to make this work. First is a Gemini API key. And the second is an image BB API key. The image BB is a free tool. Basically, it's just used to convert the, um, I think it's called like base 64 code that we get back from Gemini and turn it into an actual image URL that we can throw back into Airtable. Um, the Gemini one we grab from the Google Gemini um, like developer portal. So I'll show you how to do that. So let's grab the Gemini API key first to do that. If you go to aistudio.google.com, um, this kind of box should pop up where it prompts you to get an API key. So if you click on that, it'll take you to API keys in Google uh, Studio. And you can see that I already have one here. Um, you want to make sure you're logged in in whatever account that you're going to be using and setting up billing for. So right now, I'm this. I'm set up. I'm logged in under a personal account, but I have my Cruise Media account as well. Um, but basically, all you do is you're going to create an API key. So you click the Create API Key um, button, and then um, you know it'll ask you to select a project from Google Cloud Projects to like connect this to. I'm pretty sure it'll automatically create a project for you, but if not then you might need to go to uh, like the cloud.console, or sorry, console.cloud.com. Um, so I'm logged into my account right now. You can see I've spent like $2.25 generating images. I've probably generated maybe like 100 images um, for that amount. Um, so not overly expensive, um, but it is something that you want to, you know, keep tabs on for sure. So here um, at the top with Google Cloud, there's this like, project picker. If you click on that, you can click on new project or you can like have your existing projects here that you can select. Um, but basically, you just want to link up this API key to a project. And then the next piece is you just have to set up a billing profile with it. So with here, right now you can see it's set up under the free plan, which just basically means like you won't be able to use it um, with the Airtable. So you need to set up billing. And then um, you know, this will prompt you to um, set up a billing account, and then you'll connect that billing account to this project. So once you've got your API key and your billing set up, um, simply just go back to the Nano Banana Airtable, paste in the API key here where it says Gemini, um, throw it in the API key next to that. 
And then the next part is we're going to go to image BB. So if you go to api.imgbb.com, um, it'll bring you to this API key um, section where you can add an API key, create an API key. And then um, all you have to do is copy this key out of here and paste it into the corresponding image BB API key section here. Um, when you go to api.imagebb.com, if this doesn't show up, you might just have to create a free account. Um, so just whatever prompt shows up for you to create an account, create an account, and then come back to this URL, create an API key, and it should work for you. So um, once you've got your API keys set up, then it's as simple as coming back to the Nano Banana Image Generator table. Um, you can create you know, as many records as you want. Each row is a new like process. So you can have your manual prompt. You can have your custom uh, saved prompts that you can look up. If you have anything in this manual prompt field, this is going to override um, whatever's in the prompt like selected. So just keep that in mind. It's kind of like an either or situation here. Um, I have another field as well where it's going to use AI to try and improve your prompt. So this is just basically uh, an AI Airtable column where I've put like custom instructions here of like improving the prompt to make it a little bit better. So if you're like having trouble getting the output you want, you can try and like have AI um, take your prompt. So right now I'm clicking this to run it within Airtable. It's using the uh, the final prompt field here and uh, trying to make basically a, a better version of that. So. Um, there's an aspect ratio selector here. I haven't really figured out a way to get this work consistently with um, the Gemini 2.5 Nano Banana. So sometimes it'll use it, sometimes it won't. I've noticed that it tends to use the aspect ratio of whatever your reference images are. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then essentially what we do is I'll show you the use case I have here. So right now I've got reference image one, which is like a shirt. I just grabbed a, a banana shirt since we're talking about nano banana. And then reference image two, I've got a series of different beverages. Um, so this could be, you know, whatever, like any combination of products. You could have reference image one be a model and have the second image be a product. Um, I think there's a way to where like we can have more than one reference image. I think we can have like up to four. So I might add that in as a, a later version update here. But basically, um, I wrote a, a prompt here that says, create an image of a trendy influencer in her 20s wearing this shirt and holding this can. I'd like her to be on a boat. So the sh shirt I'm referencing is this. Can is referencing this. And then um, the way the, the script works is if, if, if there's anything in the output image field here, it'll skip it. Um, so I'm just going to remove the images that I already processed since I want to just demo how this works. So now all you have to do is click this Generate Images button here. This will open up the script, which will start running. It pulls in your API keys for you from that API key table. And then it starts processing all of your um, image generations at the same time. So now it's taking each one of these, process it, like sending the API payload to uh, Gemini, and then um, creating them all at the same time. So it's extremely fast. You can tell, like, just as I don't know how long I've been talking, like 10, 30 seconds, and we already have all of these images that are showing up in Airtable. So here's the one from Liquid Death, and the Nano Banana shirt looks amazing. Um, obviously, like, this is just went off my prompt. I said I wanted like a trendy 20-year-old female on a boat holding my product and wearing the shirt. Basically did that um, with no issues. Here's one where instead it's going to be holding the poppy can. There it is. She's holding the poppy can. Um, you know, here's another different poppy can. So 
pretty cool. Um, you could even take one of these images and iterate on it. So like if I was like, okay, I really like this image, like the way it looked, but now I kind of want it to be maybe having, a, you know, the same image, but holding a different can. Like I like the way that looked. So come down here, create a new record. I can paste that in as my reference image one and then have it change to, you know, I could take this image of the hat, right? And then now I can write a new prompt and say, um, have this image of the influencer wearing the hat in image two. <clears throat> so now I can run my prompt and it will combine these two images together. So if I hit generate images, We should see a new image pop up very shortly here that's going to combine this image that I made of the girl holding liquid death, and it's going to throw this hat under her head. And boom, <laughs> there it is. Pretty, pretty cool. I mean, it kept everything else about the image consistent because a reminder like this was the first image that we used, right? And I just wanted it to add the hat. And basically, I mean, everything is exactly the same. She's just wearing the hat. So pretty cool. Um, there's like a million use cases you could use for this. I think, you know, if you're doing a lot of advertising at scale and you have a lot of physical products that maybe you want to like customize or if you have like in, you know, influencers that you want to like create variations of. I haven't even tried like throwing in like a static image ad into this yet, but I'd imagine if you threw a static image ad into here and asked it to make, make tweaks to it, um, you know, you could use this for like having super specific um, creative by like geo. So like if you were running like a car dealership or something and you had all these cars, like different cars you could lo load up in here and have it say like, add this text for the state in this state, in this state, in this state, and then just drag it all down and run this and it could apply it to everything. So there's lots of different ways um, that you can use this specific setup. That's gonna be way faster than using something like the Gemini app where you can only do one image at a time and it's like, you know, very text-based back and forth based. Um, I think this works really well. Again, if you've kind of like established an like a prompt that's gonna give you an output, output that you're happy with, and then you just want to replicate it a bunch of uh, over like a ton of different variables. Um, that's where this gets really cool. So I think from what I calculated, like maybe it costs like two to five cents per image um, when you run this thing, just off of like what I've been doing. Uh, I know it's like variable depending on like how complicated your prompt is and how many images and all that stuff. So. Um, it might look a little bit different for you, but again, like you can check your Google um, billing like platform and just keep tabs on it. But again, I used this yesterday. I was testing it a ton, making a ton of images, probably made a hundred images and it cost me like two bucks. So um, yeah, that's how this thing works. Let me know if you've got any questions about it, um, any ideas for future improvements. Um, I'll be dropping new versions of this back into my school community here. Um, as I make them, I'm probably going to integrate other uh, APIs like um, Flux. I think someone asked me to integrate Flux in here. Um, you know, maybe I'll add like another drop down here where you can select which model you want to process. Like, have you know, maybe you can use G ChatGPT01, uh, Nana Banana, Flux, um, basically any image generator that has like an API. Um, I'll be making at some point like another version of this that integrates video generation as well. So being able to take these images and animate them using like Google VO3 um, or some of the other like image gem or video uh, models as well. So all that's going to be upcoming, coming soon. So make sure you're you're in the community and, and keeping an eye out for that stuff and then updates to this as well. But um, yeah, the link to this Airtable base should be in the description here. And um, that'll allow you to copy this base into your own Airtable workspace. 
and you can get rocking. So yeah, let me know if you've got any questions and excited to see how everyone starts using this thing.